Hi, good day all of you. Welcome to our session. Welcome to our channel, Intelligible Tutorials. In this today's session, now I want to give the clear information regarding the resolution algorithm. In the previous videos, I told already what is the meaning of the resolution, how the resolution can get performed in uh, predicate logic. Okay, so in uh, propositional logic, how the propositions can get converted, uh, how the resolution can be performed in the proposition logic. Now, in my present video, I want to say how the res resolution can be done in the predicate logic. See, the algorithms for uh, both the proposition logic and as well as the predicate logic is both same. There is no change, but the way of application in the proposition logic and the way of application in the predicate logic both are completely different. Okay, so now we see once again the explanation of the resolution algorithm, the how that can be done in the predicate logic. The same algorithm can also be applicable in the proposition logic also. Okay, so now we see how it can be done, uh, what are the various steps in the resolution algorithm now. Okay, so let us see what is the first step of this resolution algorithm. The first step it is saying is conversion, convert all the statements into the class form or Han form. In my previous video, I told already how to convert the class form or how to convert the Han form. Okay, the reduction of the implication symbol, we can convert it in the form of negation P R Q. So whenever it is P implies Q is there, you can convert it in the form of negation P or Q. So this is nothing but conversion of the Han form or the class form. This thing can be called as Han form or class form or we sometimes we may call it as the disjunctive normal form. Okay, so next this this thing already we have done in our uh, previous videos that the conversion of the class form or the Han form and now we see uh, negate P and convert the result to the class form. See in the resolution there is one thing it is also called as proof by refutation. Okay, resolution is also called as proof by refutation or proof by negation. So what is the meaning of the proof by negation or proof by refutation is if at all I want to prove that Rama is a good boy. I have to start my resolution from Rama is a bad boy. Whenever I started it from the Rama is a bad boy, finally I can prove that it is Rama is a good boy. Okay, whenever the contradiction is fine, then we can say whatever thing we have started at the start like Rama is a bad boy that is false. Okay, so resolution is also called as proof by negation, starting by negation of the thing or proof by refutation. Okay, so that's why it is saying in the second thing negate P and convert the result to the class form. We want to prove it as the P, you have to start it with the negation of the P. Okay, and repeat until either the contradiction is found. Okay, here three things are there C, A and B and C. The first one select two classes called parent classes. Suppose I am taking P and negation P are two parent classes. I am resolving them, I find the contradiction. Okay, resolve them. If the resolvent is empty, then contradiction is fine. So, the contradiction, I find this is the, as the contradiction. I am stopping my algorithm. I am not moving further of my algorithm. So, I resolved all the terms. If no resultant is fine, then it is called as the resolution. So, here no resultant is fine. So, it is called as the resolution. So, what is the thing we have to remember here is it has to be started by proof by negation or proof by refutation. Okay. So, this is the way we can work with this resolution in predicate logic. But the predicate logic resolution and preposition logic resolution both are same. The algorithm is same. Okay, but the way of application in the predicate logic and way of application in the proposition logic, but both are different. The other name of the resolution is proof by negation or proof by refutation. Now we see in the example of the predicate logic how the things get resolved, how it can work. Okay, now we see 